Dynamic Disc Designs introduces a hybrid split mid-sagittal cut lumbar model. This model was designed with a practitioner in mind who wants to quickly educate patients on the comparison between a degenerative and a normal lumbar motion segment. Now patients can quickly understand the differences between a degenerative and a normal. With an increased disc height on the normal side, an annual fissure will demonstrate how the nucleus will push posteriorly, especially under flexion load. As the disc is compressed in flexion, the nucleus will push posteriorly through an annular fissure. This can also be seen through the spinal canal, looking at also differences, bony differences, and angular deformity differences of the spinal canal when you're comparing a normal to a degenerative. With this carefully handcrafted spine model, a reduced lordotic curve has been integrated into the degenerative side. Dynamic disc bulging can be easily shown when patients have pain under load. With a thickened annulus fibrosis on the degenerative side, patients can now feel the difference between a normal disc and a degenerative disc. One of the best angles to show patients is the posterior view as the facet spacing can be shown and in the development of osteoarthritis and its relationship to disc height loss. Superiorly, a view lens has been designed to showcase the innervation on the outer third of the annulus and on the degenerative side, neo-innervation as the nerves grow into the annular area. Other features include visible particles within the nucleus to demonstrate the migration or the shifting of the nucleus under different vector loads.